The Geophone has created huge waves since its announcement. The fact that it is effectively free means that there's a massive demand for it. Pre-booking began in August and the device is expected to reach people soon. We managed to get our hands on a Geophone and here are our first impressions. In the box, you get the Geophone, a micro USB charger and documentation. The Geophone is completely different from the modern day smartphones we are used to. It is a feature phone and has a standard candy bar design. It is small and comfortable to hold. Your thumb can reach all the keys on the keypad without any need to stretch. For its price, which is effectively a deposit of 1500 rupees, we must say that the phone feels well built. The sides and edges are curved which make it easy to grip and it has a reasonable weight as well. The screen measures 2.4 inches and has a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels. Below the screen are two function buttons, a big clickable D-pad, call and disconnect buttons and the number pad. The quality of plastic used is good and the buttons offer good clicky feedback. With the Geophone, you are on the Geo network, so you do get access to unlimited calls and SMS on this phone. At the back, there's a 2 megapixel camera and a loudspeaker. There's also a VGA camera at the front. The device uses a micro USB port for charging and comes with a travel charger in the box. It also has a 3.5mm headphone socket. The back cover on the Geophone can come off to reveal the removable 2000mAh battery. There's a nano SIM slot and a micro SD card slot that accepts cards up to 128GB. The Geophone is powered by a dual core processor and has 512MB of RAM plus 4GB of internal storage. The Geophone runs on KaiOS, which is a new mobile operating system. You get a grid-style layout of apps with easy-to-understand icons, and the D-pad makes it easy to navigate. Each of the D-pad buttons also doubles as a shortcut to quickly launch specific applications. Basic functionality like calling is super fast, and the phone could place a call very quickly on the VOLT network. For those who are thinking of using the daily free data allowance, there is no hotspot feature on the Geophone. Of course, Geo apps are pre-installed on the phone. You can access Geo Music, Geo TV, Geo Cinema among others on the phone directly. Geo Store is the app store for the Geo phone that lists all the apps that are available for the phone. Popular apps like Facebook and YouTube aren't available just yet but are expected to be added soon. In the meanwhile, you can use the inbuilt web browser to access both Facebook and YouTube without any issues. There's also a voice assistant that can handle basic commands in Hindi as well as English. We tried it out and it did deliver expected results. The phone supports 4G and latches onto the Reliance Geo network instantly. We tried to stream music on the Geo Music app and it worked perfectly. The Geo phone has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth along with geolocation and NFC. There are quick toggles that can be used for the main screen. After spending about a day with the Geo phone, it is safe to say that the battery life is good and the user interface is easy to learn. We will carry on testing this device, so be sure to stay tuned to Gadgets360 for a full review of the Geo phone.